Welcome to another episode of The The Epic Epic Family Family Road Trip. Hey guys, welcome back to another Epic Family Road Trip video. Uh, Like we said, I think in last week's video, we were going to spend some time in the next series of videos showing you more of our backyard, our own backyard. So a lot of you over the years have asked us, you know, where are some great camping spots? Can you send us the coordinates? And the the funny thing is we actually don't know. And there's a couple reasons why. One, because when you have a place like our island in the heart of this kind of country, we end up going up there and staying there. Uh, you don't see a need to explore elsewhere. The other thing is typically when you go on a big overlanding adventure, you're going somewhere you've never been. So for the past seven years, we've gone out of province uh, to different states, different countries, but uh, there's so much to explore right here in our backyard that uh, we're gonna spend a couple of videos just uh, uh, doing that. And then we've got a big trip planned. I think Dan mentioned it last week, but we're gonna do the trans Taiga. Look that up online. That is known as the most remote road in North America. We've been doing our research and it's going to be um, a crazy adventure. And so these next couple of trips that we do, we're also prepping for that, making sure that everything is in order, making sure that we have all the tools and equipment to safely do that trip and get back. But also in a couple of weeks, we're going to be going to war against the bugs, the mosquitoes and black flies and everything that's going to be coming out. So we're making sure we have our mosquito defense systems in place. So, but for today, we found on the map a lake that's way out here in the wilderness. And it, there's some logging roads that seem to get close to it, but not right up to it. But that may just be on the map. So what we're going to do is First of all, try to find this lake and then get set up as close to it or hopefully right on the edge of the lake and set up camp and have have a couple of days of uh, beautiful wilderness camping and we're going to take you with us. Let's head out there. With the lake ice being off, uh, Lando used to have his daily run across the uh, lake and not being gone now, he needs his exercise. So there's nobody happier than Lando to be out here on the trails leading the way again. That's definitely his favorite thing to do and he hasn't forgotten it even though we've been off the trail for a while. He, uh, he remembers everything. He stays within sight. If we stop, he stops and he just looks me in the eye. He stands in front of the Jeep just looking in the eye. Are we going? What are we doing? So a very attentive dog and he's having fun. So the, this excursion, other than of course exploring new areas, it's also a shakedown trip. 
in preparation for the upcoming uh, bigger, you know, kind of overland expeditions. Um, the one I was telling you about earlier that we're going on, uh, we're going to get out into places that are hundreds of miles, hundreds of kilometers, 750 kilometers when we get to the end, away from That's the nearest. Cool. All those rocks up there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, 750 kilometers away from the nearest person, garage, uh, gas station, or anything like that. So, right now is the time to listen for you know noises on the jeeps and loose parts and things like that. So that's partially why we're uh, doing these shakedown trips because we want to be fully prepared before we head way out into the wilderness. Right, so we are up in the area of the lake and we see this little side road which we uh, pulled onto and we're gonna take this to the end um, not sure where it leads the it's kind of the end of where the maps show any kind of trails or roads so who knows you, it might be only a you know the only way into the lake might be by getting to the end of one of these little trails and then hiking in but uh, yeah let's go down here and see what we find and uh, hopefully something gets us up closer to the lake at least. pulled off onto this smaller side trail here off of the main logging road and uh, we're finding you know puddles and rocks and it's just given us an opportunity to uh, push the jeeps a little bit and flex them a little bit through some of these obstacles um, to you know to test everything and make sure everything's sound underneath um, it's all part of our preparation for the big trip to the northern Quebec
So I'm looking at the map here and the road or this trail leads away from the lake and then it comes around on the other side. <clears throat> but I'm seeing a cutoff that heads in the direction of the lake. It's a very narrow single, you know, two track deal here. Um, if we can't turn around there, we're going to have to back all the way out. But it's it might be worth either hiking in there to see if the lake's up there or following this track. So one of us will probably hike in and see how muddy it is and if it's passable in four-wheel drive and then uh, we'll head in. I think that's probably our best bet of getting up close to the water. It's blocked off for some reason. So They can't just pop over? They must have a reason the bridge is out or who knows what. There must be some reason why you don't go there. Although this side trail, it's a four-wheeler trail, but not. Um, and when you get up there, there's no roads leading to the lake. There's nothing showing that it goes to the lake. So we could go back to that one we saw and see. We could hike in there right. or put the drone up. But otherwise, we'll just camp in a clearing like this, which this, would be beautiful. This is the driest, best spot we've come to. I wouldn't mind it. I, we're not, I don't think we're going to find a, something right along that lake. So that's neat, that lake is completely cut off. Wow. I did see a, a, a four-wheeler trail, so I think hunters get into it. We could try it in the, in the morning. Well, camp out here somewhere? Yeah, we could find a nice, this is really dry, no mud. Yeah, I like it. I'm Even gonna, down right there is good. This looks like uh, vehicles have made their way around that, that roadblock. It's really rough in here, but you know, not definitely not impassable. Oh yeah, lots of stumps. Definitely doable. Oh, look, there's fresh moose poo. Nice. This would be good practicing when I get my bike yeah. all throughout here, especially in like to... August and stuff. So we were, we're right here. Mm. We turned onto this, that's where the block Well, oh, so that's is. probably what we were looking at right here or there, that little that, thing. Or that. Yeah. So there's the lake, but Oh wow. It's way up in here. So we've skirted all the way around. I was thinking if we get up here, maybe somebody carved a trail into the lake, but I don't see any. So that's probably our best bet. There's probably a camp spot there by the lake, but what time is it? Four o'clock. Set up here. Yeah, if we get it early morning, hopefully we can get up early and then see moose. This might be a good spot to see them. Lots of tracks anyways, but yeah. Okay. We'll try in the morning that trail. How does that feel? Yeah, we'll get a few rocks. How high do we need it, Dan? Just one good rock. That was too steep. Just looking for a flat rock. All these are so jagged. They're small ones. Maybe that'll do. We brought a, a bit of our own firewood this time. Um, we didn't know what to expect, but I'll tell you what, there's firewood everywhere. If you had a little electric or gas powered chainsaw, you could, uh, you'd have no shortage of firewood, that's for sure.
All right, so there's this really cool seasoning we've been enjoying. And the neat thing is, is it comes in a variety pack and this is perfect for when you're out camping, overlanding, um, backpacking, whatever that you're doing. This is the pack I'm gonna be using tonight. It's a hickory smoked habanero peppercorn. I think it's gonna be perfect for a pork shoulder. I always try and keep my seasons in a Ziploc bag because as you know, things get wet when you're on the trail. I'm just helping Carol grind up these uh, peppercorns and they're, they're actually a hickory smoked habanero peppercorn. So um, this company, they're called the Original Cold Smoked Salt and Pepper Company. They take salt and peppercorns and they cold smoke them and then they add all kinds of interesting flavors. So we just grind them up into a beautiful little dry rub here. And then Carol's gonna put them on the pork shoulder and it's just gonna be amazing. We've tried these on fish and all, all different types of meats and it's uh, delicious stuff.
that smells good. Just falls apart. I think I'll just leave it there to keep it warm. But I'm heating up the tortillas down here. Okay. Oh, how did that happen? Oh. Oh. Try that again. Hmm. Is that habanero? Yeah. Oh. Yum. That was the wrong one. I'll have to open that. It looks like up. the pin popped out. So we'll have to probably put it up on a rock. Right. And push it back in. This is what would be rattling. We have a loose fender, and the plastics are loose. Got to get those um, clips. It needs about two clips that are missing. So here. some of you have noticed that Worsley has the new Effort One plate put on. And this Monday we get to put Effort 2 on Vandy, so we're really excited. Yay, Vandy! Yeah, she finally can uh, retire the license plates that are barely holding on. But uh, that's going to be look make her look really nice again. So we've done a pretty thorough shakedown on the vehicles. Uh, after yesterday going through the puddles and the bumps and the rocks, um, this morning we kind of shook the tires and checked all underneath the vehicles. And not too much out of place. Carol did find... Uh, missing pin on one of the um, sway bar disconnects so we'll get that in there uh, when we get back and um, a few loose bolts here and there but other than that in pretty good shape we have been making a, a list of all the things we need before we embark on this trip to the re most remote road in North America
first bug bite of the year. Just filming that as the Jeep was pulling out. Couldn't help but uh, swat it because it was a big one. It looked like a bird. Anyway, a bit of uh, what's coming as we plan to head north. It's starting to remind me of uh, our Pickle Lake trip. We were fairly well prepared. We were expecting bugs as you head north in Ontario, but uh, not as many as there were. So this time I think we're going to be extra prepared. So we got back to the... Uh the pathway that we think may lead to the lake, but first I'm gonna put the drone up and take a look and see if I can follow it right to the lake. And if so, maybe we'll drive in or hike in. So let's get the drone in the air. Oh, we're like so close, but so far away. That would be a ton of bushwhacking though. Mm -hmm. If we had a chainsaw, we could maybe do it because it looks like there's some trees down right there. Too big. So where's we only have the little hatchet and the axe. All right, so it doesn't look like it leads to the lake. It goes in quite a ways and then just disappears. And then there's a bunch of swamps before you get actually to the lake. So um, anyway, that solves that mystery. Um, but one thing we do know for sure there's all kinds of amazing camp spots back here and the road goes on and on and on so on a uh, later date we will go past where we camped and uh, and just try to get in as far as we can but endless trails back here if you're looking into exploring we would recommend this time of year this is uh, the first week of May the trails are dry enough to get on they're a little bit wet in the swampy areas but in general they're pretty dry so you're not doing damage to the trails and there's not a single bug in the air so no mosquitoes no black flies it's just uh perfect time and the, and the weather's just super warm so uh we are not complaining it's a beautiful time to be out exploring in ontario all right so that was a fun road and some awesome trails back in there we're going to get back on pavement now and head to another area in ontario we're going to take you guys with us we'll see you next week and in the meantime we'll see you down the road